What's up, everybody? It's Coach B with NXG Combat Sports, and today we are discussing the path to the brown belt. So, real quick, if you are new or just tuning in, make sure and hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to refer back to some of the previous videos that we've done on jujitsu rank progression here at NXG Combat Sports. So, I will drop those links in the description. So we have been using the explanation of tools and building a toolbox to kind of explain the journey. So your path to blue belt is building your very basic toolbox. That's going to be making sure you have a flat head, a Phillips head, a hammer, a set of pliers, and an adjustable wrench, right? These are your basic tools that you can accomplish so many things with. And that to me is what white to blue belt is. That's your self-defense jujitsu. It's the tools you need against an unskilled or unarmed opponent. Then we talked about the path from blue to purple, explaining that there's a period of growth and experimentation where you are going to metaphorically accumulate experience of a lot more uh, specific tools and specialty tools. So you've got your basic or your core toolbox, if you will. And then it started building out. We now have, uh, you know, a ratchet set and we have some uh, specialty tools, maybe a torque wrench, an impact drill. Perhaps even for a little while, we thought we were going to be a woodworker. So we bought a set of chisels and a laser engraver and a wood burning tool, right? Because we're experimenting, we're going out and seeing what all is there. Now, from a jujitsu specific standpoint, to me, this is exploration of how your individual submissions and sweeps start to tie together into chains. Uh, it's also going out and exploring some of your open guards, right? So you have some knowledge of you know De La Hiva and Spider Guard and things along those lines. So uh, whether it is what you will ultimately use or not, you end up accumulating these tools. And from a jujitsu standpoint, it's knowledge of what all is out there, even if just to the extent that you can avoid it or be knowledgeable of it. Maybe it's something that's not in your wheelhouse, uh, but you know how to look out for it, right? So we've reached the purple belt now, and here's where it's going to get a little bit more serious because, in my opinion, the purple belt is the, um, the first advanced rank, if you will, but it really means that your relationship with jiu-jitsu is real. So let's go back and discuss what the path to brown belt really looks like. Now, I'm going to use that same toolbox metaphor, but I'm going to talk about the specificity of you and your game. So we've got our basic toolbox from white to blue belt. We've experimented and we've, uh, you know, bought everything that Snap-on sells and a couple of as-seen-on-TV tools. Uh, we've got some tricks in our bag, right? And that has got us through and we've now obtained the purple belt but at Purple Belt, you are no longer just a hobbyist with a toolbox in the garage. You are now becoming a tradesman, right? Uh, so what is your trade? And that's where the specificity from purple to brown comes into place. So uh, example, maybe I have become an electrician. My general carry around toolbox is going to be developed based on that. Yes, I've still got the shop uh, back at the house or the garage where I've got a lot of other tools, but I carry more screwdrivers, pliers, strippers, wire cutters, uh, things that are a little bit more task specific to me. Maybe if I'm a plumber, it's a little bit more hacksaw, ratchet, and uh, pipe wrench kind of uh, plier based, right? So your individual toolbox at Purple Belt will really begin to develop its specificity based on your craft or your, um, your direction, right? So every body type is different. We have different ages. We have different uh, 
preferences in regards to a lot of things. So maybe you're just like the sweep genie, right? And you try to sweep everybody or you've got a really good sweep based game. Or maybe you're the triangle monster, right? So your purple to brown belt journey is really honing in on your trade or craft inside the greater world of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I mentioned earlier that to me, purple belt is like the entry level or the first steps into the advanced range. Now, when you have this specificity that you are building from purple to brown belt, you really truly have an A game. And that A game, even at purple belt, may be on a black belt level. It doesn't mean your whole game is on a black belt level, but if you can force a role to play along with your A game, then you are a threat to brown belts and black belts, even as a purple belt, because this is the realm where your knowledge is deep and you are smart and skillful. Now, possibly they can exploit you in other areas because you have not rounded out um, the totality of it yet. Uh, maybe you've got some, uh, like you say, you know, a couple of shortcomings here and there. And obviously, jujitsu is a journey. It's a never ending path, so we never get perfect. But the pathway between this belt and this belt is your specificity. It's your game. It's your journeyman path through the trade of specificity that you have been drawn to and or that your stylistic uh, expression has been presented, right? I'm gonna use Ryan Hall as an example. Way back in the day, Ryan Hall, not UFC, uh, current day Ryan Hall. When Ryan Hall was a purple belt, he was a triangle terror. Uh, he definitively, very easily had a black belt level triangle and was submitting black belts while he was still a purple belt. Uh, but even to hear him say it in interviews, if it went outside of his A game, then it was much more exploitable and became a problem for him. But if he could keep his game cracking and if he could keep it in this spectrum, then he was a threat to anybody, right? My opinion, guys, building your specific game, honing the tools that you will carry with you that accomplish the majority of your missions, that is your path from purple to brown belt. That is your brown belt journey. And if you will, make sure and hit that subscribe button. Next video, the path to black belt. So again, we have like this apprenticeship. We come into our journeyman phase and then we're moving forward towards mastery, if you will. This is the path chronologically through jujitsu, guys. And I'm going to come back with more uh, philosophy-based videos soon. But for right now, path to brown belt, get it sharp, know your A game, and build your toolbox accordingly. One love, guys. I'm Coach B with NXT Combat Sports. Check us out soon.